What up YouTube? How are we feeling today? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing fantastic. Back with another Division 2 video. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna have a look at Cassie Mendoza. And we beat Tidal Basin Legendary last night. It was a hassle. It took us a few hours, but it was a lot of fun. This is a true, true Legendary. This definitely gave us a challenge. And... We fixed it live on stream, man, it was so freaking fun. But enough about that, let's dive into Cassie and we all know we need to unlock Cassie by talking to the snitch. He can be found in a few different places over the map. I will leave a link up on the screen right now, six easy spots to find them. And this week I found them at Tidal Basin. So just Travel to Tidal Basin and then just walk straight ahead. Don't go in Tidal Basin, but go to the left. Then take the first left and there is the snitch. This is one of the six spots that is in that video as well. So if you can find them in your usual spot, definitely click on that video and you can find six easy spots. But enough intro, let's dive right into Cassie. And there we are at Cassie Mendoza. And unfortunately the scalpel and the strategic alignment are for sale here as well. Just like with the countdown vendor. The scalpel comes with marksman rifle damage almost max out. Headshot damage, optimal range and then future perfection. Because it's the named MMR. Strategic alignment comes with skill tier, skill haste, critical hit damage and perfect shock and awe. So if you want to pick one of these up, definitely pick them up at Cassie. This only sets you back in-game money while the countdown vendor asks for countdown requisition points. Jumping over to the shield splinter. This of course comes with perfect optimist, 7.5% critical hit chance, health damage and assault rifle damage. Not really a great buy. Hunter killer. Armor, health and critical hit damage and then of course the perfect intimidate. This could be a decent buy in my opinion. Roll it health away for some critical hit chance for example or some arm regeneration whatever you like to build to and then optimize the rest. If you don't see the shield splinter or if you don't see the hunter killer that means that you need to take out all the hunters that the game has to offer. For the shield splinter you need to take out all the year one hunters. They will drop 8 keys for you. With those 8 keys you can open up a box in the White House. When you open this box up the shield splinter will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Same for the hunter killer but now take out all the year 2 hunters. These are the hunters that were added to the game with Warlords of New York's expansion. The year 2 hunters will drop 8 keys for you as well. With those 8 keys open up a box in Haven. After you open this box up. The Hunter Killer will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Jumping over to the Backpack of Future Initiative. Skill Tier Repair Skills. Chest of Future Initiative. Skill Tier Arm Regeneration. And there we have it. The new Ombra Initiative gear set is for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Comes with weapon damage and 7% weapon handling. Definitely, definitely a good buy. Or of course... Go for the countdown and just farm for the new gear set. Knee pads of striker, 12% weapon damage and some skill haste. Could be a decent buy if you're still looking for a striker's knee pad. Because 12% is pretty decent. Roll that skill haste away. Then over to the striker holster with a max 6% critical hit chance. Definitely, definitely pick one up if you're still looking for it. And then roll that weapon damage to the max cap to get it to god roll. And y'all know... With TU 16.1, Striker will be updated and can be very, very good in the game. So keep an eye on Striker. Then over to the Hardwired Mask with Headshot Damage in the Skill Tier. Over to the AUG A3 CQC, Steady Handed as a talent on there. Critical Hit Chance, Health Damage and Assault Rifle Damage. Then the Stage Left is for sale here as well guys. Just like in the normal vendor reset. At the White House, we can pick one up at Cassie as well. This has rifle damage, critical hit damage and damage to armor. And then, of course, the new talent, Perfect Sledgehammer. Dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on target. Targets with this mark will get 40% more damage to armor and have minus 30% movement speed. 
The mark will disappear after 10 seconds. This is the new named gum coming to the game with TU16 and Season 10. And this is the new talent. And I think in combination with a particular build, this can be very, very powerful. Then over to the 511 chest, overwatch, status effect, health and armor. Mask of Douglas and Harding, weapon damage, critical hit chance and skill damage. Then over to the mods. 5% critical hit chance and the last one 4.4% deflector damage. But yeah guys that's pretty much it for Cassie Mendoza and the full vendor reset. Yesterday I showed you all the other vendors we can pick up that stage left. We can pick up an Umbra initiative as well. But just go for Cassie, guys. The stage left is for sale here. The Umbra Initiative gear is for sale here as well. I think this is a great, great reset for Cassie. Especially for the new gear and the new weapon added to TU16 and TU10. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course, the notification bell. Pure Prime out. I'm